Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So the US dollar index did fall a bit today, not really much was expected for it to rally. Uh, but if you look at the US dollar in the Great British Pound and US dollar, we can see that we did break below the 20 exponential moving average all the way down to 1411 and then rallied. So there is quite a lot of support underneath here. This is a fairly bullish candlestick. However, technical indicators do not show the same picture. As you can see, MACD has crossed the signal line, it is bearish, the RSI is bearish, CCI is becoming bearish, and so is the stochastic. We did break the middle of the bullish band and rallied above. Um, and it is to be seen whether or not we bounce from here and go back towards the highs or that we continue falling towards the bottom of the bullish band, which should be roughly at the 40 exponential moving average. So if you manage to break above 1424, then we are going significantly higher as this is massive resistant. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. We can see that we tried to get above this resistance level and failed. And now we're trading at uh, 109, 552. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is bullish. Uh, the RSI is flat. CCI is bullish still. Stochastic is becoming bearish. And it looks like we're heading towards the middle of the bullish band yet again. If we break below the middle of the bullish band, then we could drop all the way down to the very bottom. And that is basically to the previous lows here and just above the 100 moving average. Major support in this market here is down at 108. So let's look at the Euro, Euro US dollar. And as you can see, we did fall. It's very similar to the uh, Great British Pound US dollar below the 20 exponential and then rallied. But we're still in the red. Not a lot, but we're still in red. We have just been going back and forward for, for basically weeks now. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is bullish at this point. We can see that the middle of the bullish band offered quite a lot of support and at the moment we're still trading above the middle of the bullish band. If we were to break down below here then we could head towards the bottom and that's roughly at the 50 moving average and that's a drop from where we are at the moment of give or take 1% to the downside. So let's look at the Aussie US dollar and as you can see we did break down towards the 150 moving average yet again and then bounced. So a fairly good sign. We're still in red. Uh, minus is 0 0.12. Technical indicators they are they're still fairly mixed. MACD is bearish. The RSI is bearish. CCI is flat. As that stochastic is bullish. If we manage to rally from here, then we could head back towards 0 0.78, and uh, we basically need to break above this resistance line in order to go back and test these previous highs here. So there's a lot of resistance above uh, before we go and test. 180 breaking below 150 could open the door to the 200 moving average and that's a drop where we are at the moment of roughly 2.06 percent to the downside so us dollar canadian dollar as you can see we did rally up towards the 20 exponential and then find found resistance there and then we broke down yet again technical indicators they are also mixed macd is bullish the rsi is bullish and cci is bearish and the stochastic is bearish at this point we're getting awfully close to the bottom of the bullish band. There is not a lot of movement in this market. It will either rally to the upside significantly or it will break below this uh, support level and then will drop to significantly lower levels. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support us by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.